Good morning, my gardening friends. Welcome back to the garden. What's better than a morning walk through the garden with a hot cup of peach tea? Not much that I can think of, anyway. Welcome to my garden. I've been promising a gardening tour, and today we're gonna have that. So, let's get started. All right, first let's visit some tomatoes that I planted this week. <clears throat> They're doing really well. Um, they've grown a lot just since I mulched them. These are my Thornburg's terracotta tomatoes, and this is my first year to grow these. I'm really excited for them. So you can see they've taken off. I can tell that their roots are set. So I'm planting zinnias in this bed as well and some calendula, which my calendula has been munched on by critters. So you can see here's one, but... He's been eating on and I have some more growing. One of the things that's really given me problems this year is the roly polies. So, but we'll, we'll deal with them. <clears throat> Sorry, I got my camera strap in front of that. So one of the, I like to grow herbs and this is yarrow, which is really awesome herb to grow in your garden. It's a perennial. You don't have to plant it every year. There are so many medicinal properties with yarrow. And I can't remember. I think this is a white one. But we'll know more when it blooms. I have three of them and I have all colors. So that's exciting. Over here at the end of the bed, I have some rosemary growing. And it's starting to take off. Whoops, I've shattered myself. Over here at the end of the bed, I have some rosemary. It's starting to take off. This is the amazing Tangerine Skies Rose that I showed you in some photos. I just love this. It's supposed to be a climber. It doesn't look like it's climbing yet, but I sure think it's beautiful. This huge plant that I have growing on this cattle panel arch which I'll do a video just on those. Um, but this is a fall blooming clematis, which I didn't even know there was one. I was shopping in a plant nursery and I come across that. And it's a perennial, it's really taken over. But I wanted something that would come up and start making my arch green before all my other stuff was ready in the springtime. So that definitely suited the bill. Over here, I actually <clears throat> randomly scattered zinnia seeds because I want to have a lot of pollinators um, help share the plants. And you can see they're coming up like crazy. I'm gonna have to get in there and weed them uh, and thin them out because they're really too thick. So one of the things that I wished I'd have done was put them in rows, which I may still thin them out to rows so that I can have put down straw and have a place to walk to weed in between them but they are doing well zinnias are a wonderful choice if you don't want something that takes a lot of care and they're pretty drought, drought tolerant this week I've planted uh, in this I planted okra and I don't see any of it coming up as of yet but it should be coming it's been raining every day or I've watered it so it should do pretty well. I've had volunteer borage this year all over the place. I've had to pull some up, but uh, I've got it all over still. It's actually wonderful. And you can see it's volunteered over there. I don't know. I won't leave all of those, but for now I have. I have not finished planting this bed, um, but I do have a pepper down here that's doing well. This tall plant that you see growing in my raised bed is actually a marshmallow. And you harvest the root and use that for medicinal. It's part of my medicinal herb garden. Uh, this is about its third year and it's doing really well. Hello, potatoes. They're growing really pretty. I 
I have some Savoy cabbage and as you can see this one's doing great and this one that was there is not because a rabbit ate it um, but it kept eating the same one and I had several so I just let it keep eating the same one that's the thing with gardening if you have problems with you know something one time that doesn't mean you're always gonna have problems with it this is a volunteer cherry chocolate sunflower and it just came up all on its own which makes for a stronger plant um, and I'm loving that I have sunflowers that have volunteered all through the garden here's a, a regular mammoth sunflower down here and there is one of my tomatoes that I planted and it's doing really well and again I have zinnias in here there's pepper happy birthday little cucumbers I put some seeds in a pot I like to stagger the cucumbers they seem to all come on at once and then you've got more cucumbers than you know what to do with so I like to start them at different times. Here's my cilantro. This week will be a cilantro harvesting week. We're gonna dry that. Um, we'll probably use some in some, some fresh and some cooking. But then before it bolts, this is a slow bolt cilantro, but before it bolts, I wanna dry it because I do like it in soups and on all kinds of things in the winter. So that's awesome. This is one of my raised beds for beans and as you can see something's munched on them but they're growing out of it and they're doing okay. So we should have green beans before long and there is a lavender that I grew from seed a few years back and it seems to make it through winter in this raised bed which kind of surprised me. One of the new tomatoes I've grown this year is called the evil olive and it's a little reddish green tomato. Um, looks kind of like an olive and I've lost all of them except this one and I put it in this pot I'm kind of considering it my little tomato nursery there where it can stay above the critters that might munch it off and it looks like it's doing pretty good um, it's got some new green leaves out on it and it looks strong so I hope he makes it and these my magnolia tendril peas they are beautiful they have taken off And I have those on two fences. And on the other side, I have sage, which I talked about potage gardening, mixing your herbs and flowers and vegetables all together. On the other side of the fence, I have some sage. I talked to you all about potage gardening, mixing your herbs and flowers and vegetables all together not only for the aesthetic look but they just grow well that way but most things as long as they're companion you know companion here are the magnolia tendril peas look how pretty those are i love those they're beautiful and when they come on out here my husband and i will eat them right off the vine they probably won't make it in the house if they do they'll be a few for salad so that's awesome This Swiss chard made it all through winter and has come back and that one plant has provided us with so much salad this year. I use that and then uh, I add the other greens to it. Here's another yarrow, which is huge. I love this yarrow. It looks like it's getting ready to bloom. And across the way from it is another yarrow, which this one is definitely white, so the other one may be going to bloom yellow. This one has gotten so big, I need to divide it up and share it. Okay, I have some brassicas in here. We're actually going to put some sweet potatoes in here as well. This is a large stock tank that um, I have two of those that my husband got a uh, couple years ago and painted them a terracotta color and I think they turned out really pretty and it's a great way to have a raised bed this one's big and this one is smaller up here but up here I have beans in that one and they're doing really well so over here we have our arugula that has gone to seed and we let it go to seed and we harvest it so that we can replant it um, we can replant it in the fall and have salads then 
and we can have enough. We actually still have some from last year that puts on so many seeds. And then uh, we'll plant again in the spring. It's a very good for salads. It kind of has a spicy taste. If you've never tried arugula, and other places they sometimes call it rocket, but it's delicious for salads. And I've always had a really good crop of spinach. This year my spinach hasn't done that great. I don't know why, but that will not keep me from planting spinach again next year. Here's some of the uh, basils that I planted. I planted different kinds of basils and they're coming up. Um, I plant basil by my and put pots of it by my tomatoes. Tomato hornworms do not like basil, so it's a good companion plant to tomatoes. And then all of our raised or our panels where we put our tomatoes are here in the big in ground garden. And we have a lot. I don't know how many we have. We have over 80. I know that. These are onions that volunteered from last year that are come up. And we have a whole bunch of new, all the little stuff in there is not grass. It's actually more onions. So, and they've been mulched. Peppers went out this week. Um, peppers like it warm. So do sweet potatoes, and I have not gotten those out, but we're going to. But our peppers are over here, and they actually aren't in full sun all day, and they like it there. So, a lot of you have been talking about what can you grow in shade, and um, not full shade, of course. They need, they need some sun, but they're they're doing pretty good back here, and right now you can see it's shady. This is a walking onion. I got this from a nursery last year, and uh, instead of, well, these little ends, you can see some of them bend over, and then they'll go into the ground, and they plant a new onion when they drop like that. And I started with one onion last year, and now I have all of these. And I have not tasted them yet, but I'm going to pull one up probably this evening and put it in my salad and see how it tastes. I'll let you know. This is all my brassicas. I hope they hurry up so they don't bolt because as soon as it gets warm they will want to bolt. So hopefully I'll get some cauliflower and broccoli and different things out of those. So this is pretty much my garden tour for now. Lots of things are growing and uh, it's really exciting to come out every day and see a difference in what's there. I will finish up planting this week. I haven't because of so much rain and the cool temperatures and graduations and different things that have gone on this week. It's been a busy week, but um, I plan to get everything, including my flowers and everything in this week. This will be it. So uh, normally it's by Mother's Day, but this year it's a little later. So anyway, thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the garden tour. We'll do it again and see how much things have grown.